One year ago tonight, the building housing Japan's Fukushima No. 1 nuclear reactor exploded, and three of the reactors there were melting down. The tsunami that hit the plant the day before had knocked out the water that kept the nuclear cores under control. Fukushima is said to be safe now, but the area around it will be radiologically hot for years. Twelve miles around the plant is considered no man's land. But Bill Whitaker put on a radiation suit and was able to get inside the exclusion zone for this report. The area is totally off limits without a government pass, not something handed out to journalists. We went in with volunteers pre-approved to monitor radiation levels. We are now approaching the checkpoint. We have to get through this before we can get into the no-go zone. We are now in. We safely got through the checkpoint and uh, we're now in the no-go zone. Dead zone is more apt. This area was hit by a tragic trifecta, earthquake, tsunami, radiation. More than 70,000 people became nuclear refugees. The first town we entered was Odaka. A year ago, 13,000 people lived here. Today, zero. What's most unsettling? On first glance, everything looks normal. But take a closer look. This shop, that store, every store on this once busy shopping street abandoned. Every neighborhood in this city abandoned. There are signs of happier times. Now, traffic lights flash, but no traffic. The only sound, the ticking of our guide's Geiger counter. He'd found a hot spot. Big towns and small towns, all ghost towns. Houses left in haste. Only a few unfortunate cows roam empty streets. We drive south toward the cause of all this. We're now about a mile from the Fukushima nuclear plant, and listen to this Geiger counter, it's going crazy. This is why people have been evacuated from here. This is why this is a no-go zone. At one point, it got up to 30.8 microsieverts. Anything above 3.8 is considered unsafe. We got out of there quickly. About 10 miles down the road, we met Naoko and Susumo Ito. Despite threats of radiation and government warnings, they refused to leave. Naoko, who is 63, grew up here. For 12 years, she's been caring for her mother with Alzheimer's, who told Naoko she wants to die in this house. Naoko is staying to grant her mother's wish. But you are right down the road from the Fukushima nuclear plant. She told us wherever you go in Japan, there are nuclear power plants. There are 54 in this country. Where is safe? We left the Itos and left the exclusion zone in and out in three hours to limit our exposure. Plant operators say it could take decades to completely dismantle the Fukushima nuclear plant. How long will it take for the surrounding dead zone to come back to life? Nobody has set a time for that. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, in the no-go zone around the Fukushima nuclear plant.